Unfortunately, you have to look at me and Stuart Welch. It's Money Tuesday. Not as cute as Prince George. <laughs> uh, we're talking about first year college students, financial checklist part two. Of course, you went to part one. Now we're going to part two. Uh, and by the way, you can get the rest of this article at Stuart, Stuart's column at the, from the Welch Group sure. com. All right, but let's talk about this now. Let's start with number six now. Uh, we know a lot of credit card offers will come in. How do you sort through which ones are the good ones, which ones aren't, or even if you should take advantage of some of those credit card offers? Well, Mike, I think, first of all, the college students are inundated with offers for uh, credit cards. Mm -hmm. And I think what you want to do is, uh, I think it's a good idea. So the question is, should they do it? And it's a good idea because you it's an opportunity to begin to build credit history. What you want to make sure is you don't build bad history. Right. So you've got to handle them very responsibly. And I think you just do some comparisons on which are the best cards. I think the main thing is, is that when you get your credit card, you want to keep up with how much you're paying. And so right. I want to keep a running balance. The best way to do that is just take your your check register and when you enter a when you use your credit card just enter it like it was a check okay. and keep up with your balance so you want to keep up with that yeah because I, I had a roommate in college who uh, charged pizzas like almost every night and yeah his dad until it ran credit out. card bill exactly <laughs> until it ran yeah, out so, all right so if you I, I, this is interesting if you get funds from student loans you're saying uh, put them in a, a money market account yeah, I think, you know, it, you're not earning much interest, but it's a great idea to begin to learn interest and shop around. One of the best places mm -hmm. to go is a credit, uh, uh, student credit union. So that's, they're going to have lots of opportunities. That's where you probably want to have your checking account. Okay. Uh, but just make sure you're earning interest and that's just being a good steward of the money. Okay. All right. Uh, and obviously, you, you got to protect your identity, uh, and that's certainly true on a college campus. So uh, kids that are first going to college, you know, it's the first time they're really going to have exposed to those kind of things because they're now in charge. So identity theft, you got roommates, you got people coming and going in your room, you got password protection, mm -hmm. you got your credit card statements, you got eight, be careful around ATMs. You just want to be aware and uh, uh, you know just protect your stuff. And I would think parents if you have the means uh, buying a service like a LifeLock or credit monitoring service for your kid may not be such a bad idea. It's a great idea. All right, here's something I had to do get a part-time job. You know whether you had to or you don't have to it's a great idea not only is it a great experience not only will you enjoy the extra money but it's really an opportunity to put something on your resume and get and really get that experience. I would start with I, I was a grader Okay. So I would start with my professors and head of departments and find out if there are any jobs that they could help you with, and otherwise you go outside of there. So, but in you, you mean in your major or out of your major, possibly? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, you know, in my case, I was a grader in my major, and it was really helpful to kind of see how the professors work. Okay. But uh, I just like the idea of getting a job and beginning to get that experience. All right, we got to get number 10 real quick, network with abandon. You know, it is... It, I say be a joiner because ultimately success in life is about who you know and who you've networked with and college is the best place to start so I would start there. So Rotary Clubs, any kind of clubs? Any, anything like that, any, uh, you know, they have uh, math clubs, they have uh, student unions, they have the student government, so there's a lot of Campus things that you clubs. can do there. Okay. All right, Stuart Wells, thank you so much. Thanks, Appreciate Mike. it. All right, well, we're